He had the opportunity to call witnesses remotely. He didn't use all of his time at trial. There was ample process here, and this is how ballot access determinations in election cases are, are decided all the time. Okay. Uh, second question. Some of the rhetoric of your position, I don't think it is your position, but some of the rhetoric of your position seems to suggest unless the states can do this, no one can prevent insurrectionists from holding federal office. But obviously, Congress has enacted statutes, uh, including one still in effect, Section 2383 of Title 18 prohibits insurrection. It's a federal criminal statute. And if you're convicted of that, you are, it says, shall be disqualified from holding any office. And so there is a federal statute on the books, but um, President Trump has not been charged with that. So what, what are we to make of that? Two things, Your Honor. Section 2383 was initially enacted. Brett Kavanaugh emphasizes the importance of due process, particularly in cases involving significant allegations such as rebellion against the president. He stresses the necessity of thorough proceedings including securing witnesses to uphold legal procedures and ensure fairness. Kavanaugh highlights the alignment of legal integrity with the genuineness of legal processes and urges a thoughtful consideration of established laws and constitutional principles, referring to Section 2383 of Title 18. Kavanaugh underscores existing federal statutes addressing rebellion and potential disqualification from public office upon conviction. He suggests viewing debates around this issue as efforts to enhance the legal process rather than simply opposing. The barring of supporters from federal office. 